Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our live stream theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a fun, pleasant evening for all. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. What's your rate? 72 beats a minute. I just know that it's in a castle and there's lots of Coors Light. A castle? Like this? That's it! Get everything you need at Coors Light Halloween Headquarters, because it isn't Halloween without the silver bullet. You're a doll. Hi, I'm Casper. Hi. Would you like to try this new cereal? It's light as a ghost. A ghost? Ah. Gee! I just want them to try my new cereal. Close named it after me. Maybe if I sing a happy song, people will be more friendly. It's a honey of the morning, starting it off with post ghosties. You love sweet corn when it's tumbled in honey. Your day's bound to be sunny, starting it off with post ghosties. I don't have any friends to play with. I'll be your friend. I'm Casper. Try my new cereal, Post Ghosties. Thanks, Casper. It's a honey of the morning, starting it off with Post Ghosties. You love sweet corn when it's tumbled in honey. Your day bound to be sunny, starting it off with Post Ghosties. It's Halloween, the night he came home. When the deepest fears are made real. When the darkest nightmares come true. When the most courageous soul cowers in the face of evil. First time on TV. The modern horror classic from John Carpenter. Parental discretion advised. This film contains elements of shock and suspense. And now, Halloween, you won't be watching it alone. As the star of this summer's wildest movie, take it from me. When you take your little gremlins on vacation, stay at a quality, comfort, clarion, or sleep hotel. Because gremlins 18 and under stay free, but never, never feed them after midnight. Hello, room service. <laughs> Kids 18 and under stay free when you call 800-221-2222. Elvira telling you that without Coors and Coors Light this Halloween, your friends will get ugly without their masks. So stock up where you see this display. I shop here because they slash prices. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Halloween. A time for children. Parties. Good times. <laughs> Halloween was a special time. Until he came back for more. I told you this isn't a man. Monday, October 21st at 8, TV50 presents the broadcast television premiere of Halloween 2. Michael's back, and there's no place to hide. Jason takes Manhattan. New York has a new problem. Rated R. 
Starts Friday, July 28th at theaters everywhere. Uh, uh, I'm Freddy Krueger, and you're invited to my special get-together. So beware, you may never leave. Dial this number now. I've got some grisly details for you. And if you're one of my lucky callers selected at random, you'll talk to me live while you're awake and safe. So dial this number now if you dare. Talk to me live. Freddy Krueger is waiting just for you. Two dollars for the first minute, 35 cents each additional minute. You're in safe hands. Now, this isn't a ghost story. This is true because it happened at this very campsite. In fact, it pretty much happened right behind where you're sitting. Don't, don't turn around. See, you're getting nervous already. This is the true story about Halloween, Jack. Ten years ago, a small group of camp leaders were getting this campsite ready for our yearly kids' Halloween camping weekend at the Halloween camp here. It's a lot of fun. The kids love it. But not this time. One of the leaders was a lovely lad, but he wasn't very popular with the other camp leaders. He was, well, a bit slow and would be bullied by the other leaders. <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> but then one day, he turned up with his face made up as a pumpkin, badly made up by himself. Well, <laughs> the other leaders <laughs> laughed at him, saying, you're a day early. And that the kids aren't arriving until tomorrow, you dumb fuck. night, Jack lost his mind entirely. He couldn't take the bullying anymore. He stayed up all night until the early hours of the morning on Halloween morning, when all hell broke loose. Now, wearing his Halloween mask and armed with a tool belt, Jack got his revenge. First, with his axe, which he swung down with all his might through the tent. Oh, 
We gotta go! How the legend of Halloween Jack started. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for not talking during the film. that real estate lady. She probably meant four o'clock in the afternoon. Four o'clock in the afternoon? When does she sleep? It's what we call a fixer-upper. Tell me, are we convenient to the school here? Oh, yes, the school is just two blocks away. And young children will walk past here regularly. Do you two have children? As often as we can. Waldemar? Normal questions. We're supposed to be typical people looking for a home. I am looking for a way into this house. You ask normal questions. Tell me, what does the building code say about filling the basement with earth? Well, um, it is a finished basement. Not yet, it isn't. Oh, 
I do love this house. Um, there may be one small problem. It doesn't matter what it costs. Oh, it's not a matter of cost. We must get into this house. We've looked for such a long time. A very, very long time. For just this house. Well, you see, a few days ago, right after you called me... The disposition of which shall be entrusted to my friend and attorney, T. Armstrong said. You know, I don't understand it. Whenever I asked him for anything, he always said, leave it to me. So I figured he'd leave something to me. And to my sister Lucille, who could always be counted on to borrow anything I had <laughs> and not return it, I leave 3,000 overdue library books. <laughs> That's all? That's all I get for being his sister all these years? <laughs> he does have one more thing for you. After what everybody else has gotten, I think we're better off he forgot us. And to my nephew John and his wife Mary, I leave my vast estates in Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh. No. John, our own house. I played in that house when I was a little boy. With all its surrounding land. We'll have a garden. Now we don't have to be afraid to let the children go out and play. That house is mine. My attorney shall inform John and Mary of the curse on the house. Curse? What curse? <laughs> yes, well, as I understand it... <laughs> We've inherited a house with a curse. We do not intend to lose this house. How about this one? There was a young girl from Hong Kong. Billy, say goodbye to the nice truck driver. Bye. Oh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful house. Mary, that's not the house. This is the house? We're gonna love it here. I feel it in my bones. Come on. It's what we call a fixer-upper. It's what we call home. I'm sure they won't stay very long. I'm sure they won't. I know they won't. Oh, it even smells like Uncle Henry's house. It's not going to smell like this much longer. I'll be in college before you get rid of this smell. Turn on the light. Maybe Uncle Henry didn't pay his electric bill. I think this place is creepy. All it needs is a little cleaning up. Where's Rover? Rover! Rover! Mm -hmm. Come on, boy! Mm -hmm. Rover? I wonder what got into Rover. It's this place. It's creepy. Billy, why don't you go out and bring Rover in? Billy? 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 He's probably just hiding. Remember when we went to Disneyland and he hid inside Pluto for two hours? Billy, if you're hiding inside a big dog again, I'm not staying here alone.
guys don't want to send me away to boarding school or something, do you? Everything will be just fine. You'll be amazed at what some nice curtains will do to this house. I'm just worried about what this house is going to do to me. They, they haven't found it yet. You can't be too sure. I? I, of all people, I can't be too sure. Of course I can be sure. They haven't found it because we have to find it. It started out to be a new thing, just like any other. But before it was over, Millicent Hackshaw would find herself in was an innocent teenage girl. She had no idea that the terrible events building around her would plunge. Is this what you call looking up the TV? I've tried every channel and all I get is the Twilight Zone. The door and out. Lightning always does that to TV reception. The dimension of the sight and sound and the smell. A dimension of oriental paint. It'll be all right once the storm the is over. Of abandoned lumber yards. The dimension of railway stations that have stopped being grand and are nowhere near central. There's a train leaving from that station and its destination is Cincinnati, Ohio. What storm? Mary, mm. come here, look at this. Some kind of a note. It's from Uncle Henry before he died. Don't open the book. What book? He doesn't say. I don't see any book. Maybe it's a cookbook. Oh, why wouldn't he want us to open a cookbook? Well, you know how I am about my apple turnover recipe. Very happy here. I'm so glad we're here in our very own house. Isn't it about time to go to bed? I've got all the dishes to do. We'll still be here in the morning.
owls. <coughs> Oops. There's a monster in here! Calm down, you've just had a nightmare. Come on, everything's gonna be all right. Billy, Billy, there's no monster here. There is. He's nine feet tall. He has four arms, huge eyes on the top of his head, and huge teeth. Billy, act your age. I am acting my age. You're just used to me acting like a grown-up. I'm ten years old, and there's a monster in here. Billy, there's no monster here. Look, do you see a monster in this room? I can't believe that I'm standing here in the middle of the night arguing with a ten-year-old kid about the existence of monsters. Now, just calm down and go to sleep. Everything will be fine in the morning. Except for me, I'll be a faded memory in the morning. I bet you were reading scary books again before you went to bed. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. He had a nightmare. He thought there was a monster in his room. <laughs> I guess it's just spending the first night in a strange house. He'll be all right in the morning. <laughs> Monsters. Mary? 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 That was good. I didn't tell. <laughs> They found the book. It's not fair. For 300 years, I've been searching for that book. Well, now you know where it is. That's not the point. Don't you understand? Whoever controls the book controls the world. And now he's got it. Two days from now, there may not be a world. <laughs> They could have used a little more sunlight. Oh, that's.
That's better, darling. They don't seem nearly as dead. Well, it may have been noisy last night, but this morning the house feels so comfortable. I don't think I slept 15 minutes all night. Lily woke us up. He had a nightmare. And we kept hearing Owl. If you guys think I'm starting school today in this condition, forget it. It'll be much quieter once we get curtains on the windows. If you were so tired, you didn't have to get up early and do the dishes. I didn't do the dishes. You didn't? Well, then who did? It must have been Billy. Mom, when did you ever know Billy to do a dish? Well, somebody did the dishes, and we're the only ones in this house. If they could get out of the book, there's got to be a book to tell you how to get them back in. There's something creepy about this place. It was a neighborhood not unlike any other neighborhood. But this was a day unlike any other day. We're going out to do some shopping. We're going to buy some curtains, heavy curtains. This place will be quiet as a tomb. Curtains and a few other things. It seems that one of the windows was broken. Yeah, it uh, must have happened during my nightmare. We'll see you in a little while. Oh, Mom, uh, you didn't uh, clean up my room, did you? I just put a few clothes away. Don't wreck the house while we're gone. God, what a bright, beautiful morning. Yes, it is a bright, beautiful morning. And we're in our own home. Yes, we are. Stanley Beamish. Hi. Hi, anything the matter? Oh, no, I got to work. I forgot my bed. So I had to come home and get it. I couldn't sleep all night. I kept hearing noises. Take care. If you need anything, just scream. So reassuring to have a policeman living next door. Take my bath.
big is this fish? Big. Something? I gotta get upstairs. You gotta keep them busy. What am I supposed to do? Bring out the Monopoly set? Do something. I need time to get up to my room, okay? No.
everybody. You're the only one who loves it. Everybody at the party. What party? Saturday night. The relatives insisted on coming over, so we had to invite somebody we could stand to to balance things out. This Saturday night? The 13th. Mom, Friday's the 13th. The 14th, then. Saturday the 14th. Does this mean you want something to eat? No. Billy, you can't just mope around like this. I won't be moping around much longer. I'm glad to hear that. You know, if you've got some problem... Well, if you lost something... Yes? If you lost something and because you lost it, the whole world was going to be destroyed. What would you do? Are you telling me you lost something? Oh, hi, Deb. Welcome home. You need some help? Oh, thanks. Remember those people who were trying to buy the house? Yes. Well, they were at the supermarket, and they asked me if we had any antiques we wanted to sell. Mostly they wanted to know about any old books. Boy, are they creepy. You know, Dad, you really ought to sell them the house. They'd fit right in. Debbie. What would you do if you lost something and the world was going to be destroyed? I'd call the police. That wasn't the answer. I wonder what Mom wanted this for. She must be getting into European cooking. Hmm. Where is she, anyway? Where else? Cleaning. Take it easy. Oh. Stop it, Ow! Ow! Ow!
let them hurt you now. Go on, my darling. Take a little nap. Electric electrolysis, elevator exercise. Ah, there it is, exterminator. Who ate my sandwich? Not me. Me? Yeah, yeah, it was me. I thought you weren't hungry. Well, you know, excitement. Excitement always makes you hungry. Excitement. Uh, exterminator. Ah, there's a good one. Major pest control. Major Pest Control, this is a major speaking. My name is John Hyatt, and I've got bats in my belfry. I'm an exterminator. My belfry's full of bats. They just attacked my wife. Oh, you got bats in your belfry. A lot of bats. You know how many? We charge by the bat. I don't care what it costs, as long as we get the bats out of here. Yeah? OK, I'll send a man over, say, uh, next Tuesday. Now! Right away! This minute! I'm at 329 Elm Street. OK, I'll send him out. And Helsing. Yeah? Bats. Bats! 329 Elm Street. 329 Elm Street. That sounds so hopeful, so inviting. So did 1827 Maple Street. So did 4386 Bratwurst Drive. Sooner or later, my friend, I will find a house where the bats did not come in through the window. Sooner or later, I'll be able to end my searching. 329 Elm Street doesn't sound like the end of the rainbow. It's not that end of the rainbow that I'm looking for. So, you're the man with bats in his belfry, eh? You're the exterminator? Yeah. You don't look like an exterminator. That's to fool the bats. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Nothing fires the imagination so much as a fine library. Do you have any old books? Any very old books? Maybe you better ask Billy. He's the smart one in the family. No, no, no old books. I always throw my old books away when I'm finished reading them. Old books can be worth quite a lot of money. Take this to my room. Your room? Well, you don't expect to get rid of bats overnight. I guess you can use the guest room. He is really creepy. Down at the exterminator place, we have a little motto. When I leave this house, there will be nothing left here to be afraid of. <laughs> oh, and this must be your charming wife. What's for dinner? I think... Mary bought a roast. Debbie, why don't you start it cooking while I show our guest to his room? You know, it sure gets dark early since we moved here. It's getting Creepy. Are you still having nightmares? I don't even have to be asleep. Listen, we've got to work on Mom and Dad to just sell this place and move. They can't sell it. It's part of Uncle Henry's will. If they sell the place, the money goes back to the estate and all those vultures split it up. So we're stuck here. Not for long. getting creepy.
just rest. You'll be all right. I wonder. What? I wonder if I'm pregnant. probably just needed a cup of sugar or something. But he was... He... It's an excellent meal. I can stay here forever. Darling, have a little peace. No! Thank you very much. Sweetheart, have a taste. You'll love it. Debbie used a lot of garlic. No, no garlic. Keep it away. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get you some pickles and ice cream. You have been developing strange eating habits since you've been here. No, no, that's just a little joke you know about being... About being what? It's personal. About being pregnant. Or you're going to have a baby. Really, Mom? Really? Do you know, baby, it might be... I don't like that kind of talk. You remember Rosemary? She had a baby. I don't even know that I'm having a baby. It may be just a... Just what? A strange feeling. And it started since you came to live here. That book is in this house! Book? What book? What book? The book! Why do you think that you have strange things happening to you? Why do you think you have bats? We have bats because of a book? You have more than bats. You have problems. And if anything happens to that book, the whole world has problems. If someone should open that book, his soul would be doomed to eternal hell, fire, and damnation. Yeah. I've followed this book around the world for many, many years. More years than you would care to hear of. And now, at last, I know where it is. Where is it? What? 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 It's gone. You had it. You didn't open it, did you? Oh, boy. I didn't know. Will someone please tell me what this is all about? After all, I am the man of the house here. The Book of Evil! Evil? Evil. All the evil that there's ever been. In one book? Boy, a book like that would be a bestseller for sure. All of that evil is loose here, in this house. Well, I guess it's time to sell the house. Uh, yeah. uh, you said you knew some people who wanted to buy it. Let's give that nice real estate lady a call. We are not going to sell this house. But, Mom, this is our home now. We, we belong here. Selling the house now? would be like closing the barn door after the horses have eaten your children. So what are we supposed to do? Well, for one thing, we better cancel that party. You're having a party here, now? We were having a few people over tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Saturday the 14th? Do you know who's going to be waiting here for those people? Maybe we better just let the relatives come. No, let everybody come. We can use those people, their energy, and we will triumph. But I have a great deal of work to do in the next 24 hours. And boy, find that book. Okay, go 
back to bed. I'll think of another way. Incantations for every occasion. Every occasion, but finding that book. Turning bill collectors to stone. He's in there and we're out here. He's got that book by now. If he had that book by now, he wouldn't still be in there. But we'd still be out here. You could go in there. You always do. You're starting to like that woman, aren't you? She's not my type. She's hundreds of years too young for me. I'd like to take a look at her neck. Honey, all I'm after is the book. Maybe I'll go in with you tonight. Well, if you don't trust me after 311 years of marriage, 312. We'll talk about this when I get back. I'm going with you. I wish I'd never learned to do this. It's so unattractive. I'll get that book if it kills us. about is that Harker woman in London. That was a hundred years ago. Oops! Can't take you anywhere. If you weren't immortal, you'd kill yourself. Isn't that that boy Valerian from Budapest? No, that's a fruit bat from the Philippines. I just hope this isn't going to be another little incident like that Harker woman. That was a hundred years ago. 
I know you're overdue. Meet again. I thought I settled your hash last time. I'm stronger now. I know how to deal with your kind. We were here first. I got inside the house first. We tried to buy it. But you didn't. Now get out of my house. Not without the book. You will never get it. Do you know what one drop of this would do to you? One drop? Darling, maybe we had better go. But we'll be back. And I'll be ready for you. Some vampires will believe anything. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. Maybe it's time you all just got out of this house. You think it's that easy? You think you can just go waltzing through the front door and all the evil in the world will just politely fade into the woodwork, yeah? You want to leave? Go ahead, leave. Go on. Walk out the door. Walk out on your family. Forget your sister. Forget your responsibilities. Go ahead. I've got to get out of here. What is it you're afraid of? Open the door. Have you had enough? That's frozen. It's freezing in here. You see? You can't leave. But I've got to go to school Monday. By Monday, all of this will be over. Be over tomorrow night at the party, one way or the other. You know what this kitchen needs is some decoration. You could hang strings of garlic. Mary doesn't seem to be as fond of garlic as she used to. Garlic is very attractive in the kitchen's this color. No, thank you. I never dream. Go. I'll take it. Without my first cup of coffee in the morning, I can't see straight. We had a house once in Bavaria. We had so much garlic hanging, we couldn't find the stove. We couldn't even smell the stove. That kitchen made the cover of better homes and garlic. <gasps> we can do. All oh, there is? What? Well, you can, you can put out big bowls of potato chips, and you can make a nice onion dip. Potato chips? Onion dip? Is that what monsters eat? No, that's what people eat. I'm not hungry. Well, you're having a party tonight. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot about the party? The whole world is depending upon this party. Now, we need onion dip. We need club soda. We need old Barbara Streisand records. The people at this party have to be as happy as any people ever were. We need all the positive energy that we can get our hands on. Positive energy? You better call the relatives and tell them not to come. Why don't you do it? I'm going to check on your mother. Here, take this coffee. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of it. Circuits are busy. Yeah, you know. It's cheaper to call before 8 o'clock. Circuits are probably just jammed with people trying to save 15 cents. Yeah, right. I'll call again after 8. Mary, are you all right? What's this? 
Besides what? All this dirt. Your whole side of the bed is covered with earth. I, I must have spilled a flower pot. Well, we'll have to get this cleaned up. No! No, thank you. I'll clean it myself later. I have to get some sleep now. Give me a kiss, darling. <laughs> oh, let me just see who that is. I'll be back for that kiss. store? No, private residence. Yeah. No, 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 I am from the liquor ah. store. Uh, you called last night? Yeah. Uh, potato chips, uh, club soda, onion dip, Streisand records? Yeah. Come in. Put it in the kitchen. I would help you with it, but I, I hurt my back in the Crimean War. today if you played inside. I've got to get out of this house. I'm a 10-year-old kid. I'm supposed to be out in the sunshine. You'll never know the contribution you've made towards saving the world. Who's that guy? Have a nice day now. Boy, these storms come up all of a sudden this time of year. You folks mind if I waited out here for a few minutes? Turn that thing off. I did turn it off. Feed me. Young man, we're going to have dinner in just a few minutes. There are many ways of fighting evil. <laughs> many ways. This could take hours. One of those people coming. Everybody always gets so excited about the first guests. But, Mom, there's something horrible out there. <laughs> you really are living here. You're right. There is something horrible out there. Aunt Lucille. <coughs> Uncle Bert. There's a little something from all of us, an electric can opener. Well, the place feels just the same as it did when Uncle Henry died of it. <laughs> Mary. Mary, quite contrary. Well, they're kids. Hey, John. Oh. Yeah. This place could blow up in a minute. Oh. That's the policy I'm going to go into. Look how furious. Don't you ever let him out? 10%. Oh. Did you get it? Hi there. I'm Phil, Johnny's cousin. You call those hors d'oeuvres? This one's got no meat on it. Which way is the bar? <laughs> Bring on the food. Who do they belong to? She wanted to sell me disaster insurance. On this house? Disaster. What is it? 
That man deserves everything that comes to him. Yeah. I thought you were going to use these people to get rid of the monsters. Oh, I am. Nice. Aunt Lucille, <coughs> let me take your coat. Oh, no, no, dear. I'll hang it up myself. Otherwise, how could I look in your closets? <coughs> oh, is that kid on the sofa? Ah, there's the closet. Let's see whose skeleton is in it. Well, the nerve of her buying a coat just like mine. but I haven't seen my husband in two days. Well, he's a policeman. <laughs> he's probably working overtime. The crime is so terrible these days. People are getting killed everywhere you look. Well, I'm glad one of you could make it. Come on. I brought you a little something. It's an electric can opener. It's exactly what I needed. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see if they can't use it at the bar. Come in. Nana Daikri. The world is coming to an end, and they make me the bartender. Oh. I haven't mixed a drink since that time Attila the Hun got drunk and wrecked Mongolia. Anyone had the banana daiquiri? Hey, Mary, have you seen Lucille? Not since she went to hang up her coat. I can't fight hiding her hair. How does your garden grow? You'd have to find somebody else to be bartender. I brought you this can opener. That'll make it easier. I have things to do. People are already disappearing. Where's Billy? I need him for this. He's right. I'll find him. If anything has happened to that boy, he'll be sunk. Mary. <coughs> Have you seen Billy? Mary, this ice is so old. Have you seen Billy? Yeah, he's... Oh, oh he must have gone upstairs. You know how kids hate grown-up parties. Debbie? Have you seen Billy? No. Find him. Okay. Debbie? Who's that guy? I don't know. You haven't found the boy yet? We haven't even looked yet. But well, look, look high and low. It's almost 11.30. If we don't have that boy by midnight, things are going to get extraordinarily unpleasant. People, everybody, <laughs> have an announcement to make. We're going to play a little game. Somewhere in this house is hidden a small boy. Let's see who is the first to find him. Why don't we win? You win? When? What do you win? Are you? We've got to keep the boy. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, you, 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 uh, uh you got an electric can opener. Good. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. Billy, Billy, are you here?
once it's worked on that other little boy. How the hell did it go? You go in here. I'll go in here. Holler if you see anything. It's what we call a fixer-upper. Billy! Find your own place to look for him. I think it's real. You haven't seen the little boy. things are going to happen. Ah! Less than a minute. The monsters are taking over the house! We are all doomed! Doomed! Who could that be? Everybody I've invited has already shown up. The left. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I believe this is what you've been looking for, Van Helsing. Billy! Hey, stop! Don't touch that boy. Give me that book. Not so fast. We have no time to lose. Ready, my boy? Will you kindly hand me the book? Get in the book, Billy. He's the only one who could get rid of the monsters. He is the monster. Give me the book. I know who you are. You're in this book. They showed me. I can make you very strong. Never! Come on, Billy. Quit fooling around. Your powers are nothing compared to mine. When I get that book, I will rule the world. Think of it. Famine. War. Death. Those we've got. And you will be the first to die. Once, 
the book is destroyed, you will never be in prison again. Tommy of night, we rule the world. Can't get any creepier than this. Destroying the book would free the monsters. That wasn't the way it worked. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I had a, 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 a swell party. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too. We don't know who he is. Well, at least he's gone. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. I think they've had enough of this house. I think so too. It's time they lived happily ever after. And us too? Of course, darling. So goodbye, everybody, and remember, please, for the next day or so, the terrible lesson you learned tonight. That grinning, glowing, globular invader of your living room is an inhabitant of the pumpkin patch, and if your doorbell rings and nobody's there, that was no Martian. It's Halloween. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.